Good, good morning, learners. I am Dr. Subodh Kesharwani, working with uh, School of Management Studies, Indira Gandhi National Open University. The topic which I am going to talk today is emerging opportunities in business. Uh, in today's competitive world, when life is so complex and complicated, only way of success is regular upgradation and hard work. There is no doubt a success stories of people in business who have collaborated and uh, do a wonders in this, in this uh, era of business. So uh, opportunity is something which is going to play a very important role. What we have observed that that opportunity is something which can, which can take a shape of our ideas, which can take a shape of a concept, which can take a shape of out-of-box approach. So this is the, the topic which is very burgeoning in nature. That is, there are certain opportunities which are uh, working as a boon for the organization, working for a boon for the business, working for a boon for the uh, companies and for the trade and commerce. So this course is basically BCOC 132. This is part of our BCOM CBCS course. Uh, we are moving from conventional BCOM to a choice based credit system. And uh, you will find out that uh, the course is quite burgeoning in nature and uh, it is helping uh, learners to uh, make their own entities, develop their own platforms, develop their own companies and business. So, when you go more into the depth of the opportunity, opportunity is varies from circumstances to circumstances. Sometimes opportunity take a shape of ideas, and uh, sometimes the opportunity take a shape of a concept. So, how you are going to apply, uh, how you are going to grab the opportunity, that is something which is going to play a very important role in the in the business and in the coming scenario. So, out of box approach is something which is changing with the change in time and uh, the companies who have not changed themselves, who have not uh, uh, updated themselves, they become redundant, they, they, out, they are out from the market, they are out from the picture. So there was a time when shelf life of a company was, was uh, 50 years or 60 years. Right now, the philosophy had changed. Technology had, had uh, bring a paradigm shift in this in this in this thing and we have we have seen that a uh, uh, lot of other things are going to play a very important role and the, the definition of technology is also changing with the change of time there was a time when technology was just merely a computers or you know other things but if you talk in the present scenario the technology is something which is which is uh, more one step ahead to that it is a it is it is right now a blockchain it is artificial intelligence or you know uh, the pandemic stage is going on and we have observed that uh, uh, that during this lockdown period people are not in a position to move from one place to another it does not mean that that business is not going but when we talk about the business business is basically a philosophy which is perpetual in nature so uh, and always believe in going concern so uh, with the change of time with the change of effort with the change of you know Friends, the, the business also changes, but it's, and uh, there were some players who survive, who was there from, from the day one, but uh, those who are not, you know, uh, aligned with the consumers, uh, uh, not a good paymasters, they are out from this uh, fray. So what we have observed that, uh, uh, that uh, to, uh, to be into a market, to be into a uh, competition, you have to take care of all the approach. You have to be holistic in nature and you have to take into consideration many things like uh, taking care of your employee, uh, providing a conducive environment so that they can, they can perform well and uh, on the other hand, interacting with your consumers on a regular basis. If you are not interacting with your, uh, with your consumers on, on, a, on a routine basis, what will happen? The customer will switch over from, from your brand and it will go to other brands. So what I was talking about that uh, uh, that in the present scenario things have been changed and uh, we have moved from push approach to uh, pull approach. So when you talk about the push approach, push approach is more supply centric. Whereas when you talk about uh, the pull approach, pull approach is more customer centric. So when you are talking, when you are customer centric, you are uh, you are making a things in such a manner that end of the day consumers are going to be benefited. So if the consumers are going to be benefited, their mouth marketing is going to uh, add, a, add a feather in a cap. So this is the thing which is going on and what we have observed that there are many things which are, which are changing. So the companies who have changed themselves with the change of time, they, they are in the picture and those who are not able to change themselves, they are away from the, 
scenario. So we have observed that they were the brands, they were the good brands which were dominating the market. Like take example of a Nokia or Kodak. But what happened right now that uh, the, they are evaporated? So it is just because that they are not taking care about their consumers and they are not, you know, favoring the need of the hours. So need of the hour is what that you have to change yourself. You have to change every time. So the trend is going on changing. So it's not like that. Sometimes those who are able to adapt the change, they are they are in the uh, picture. Those who are not able to adapt the change, they are out from the picture. So when you talk about the business, uh, no doubt this consumer role is quite important. And how you are going to interact with your consumers, what latest technologies you are going to imbibe, that is going to matter. But on the other hand, you have to take care about your consumers on a routine basis, on a regular basis. We have observed that that the consumers are. Are, are very frequent in nature. They move from one place to another very fast. So, so if you are not going to, if you if you are not going to uh, cater your customers in a in a systematic manner, uh, there are chances that they can switch over. And uh, on the other hand, you, we have to see the scenario also. What the scenario is. Sometimes what happen? Uh, we are good in technologies. We are good in interacting the consumers, but we are not able to adapt the new technology. So, new technology is nothing but changing the face of the business right now. And what we have observed that that if you are uh, changing uh, yourself and if you are taking the help of the technology and uh, which can uh, bridge the gap between the consumers and the vendors, so very easily the things are things can able to go on. So uh, we will talk about many aspects. We will talk about all the contemporary thoughts that how the uh, what are the certain opportunities which the entrepreneur the the startups. Uh, startup is basically, you know, a new uh, venture established by the individual persons. Who, rather, they are the innovators, they are the creators. And uh, when you talk about the uh, capital, they have the scarcity of the capital, but in the backdrop, they have a vision in their mind. So with the help of new thoughts, with the help of vision, they, they try to bring the new know-hows and, and, uh, and the venture capitalists, the angel investors or or we can say the, uh, the the person who are funding the this particular startups they can take the stakes and from there the companies come up we have seen that uh, uh, in the in the past that lot of startups had come up if you talk about you know the big brands like amazon which is right now at the number one slot uh, started as a startups and uh, 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 taken some some big uh, uh, amount from from the from the ventures from the venture capitalists and then they then the company come up so the amazon which has started the business in us by by selling the old books then you know converted into a books then bring their own gadgets called kindle and finally what had happened you see that right now it's one of the biggest e-commerce company in the in the world so this is how the company had changed themselves and uh, there are some good examples. We have examples of Google. We have examples of Microsoft. How these companies have started from a, from a small garage or from the small, you know, rooms in a uh, in universities, and how the companies have grown themselves. So this is something which is going to uh, uh, play a very important role, and we have to see that how the trend is going to be changed. If people can adapt the change, it's fine. If they are not going to adapt the change, they will be out from the fray. So, if you talk about uh, the presentation, the today's presentation, what we are going to talk about, that how do opportunities play an important role in enhancing business? Because uh, when you talk about the opportunity, sometimes uh, the business uh, man is doing a stereotype approach, following a stereotype approach and doing a business. But what had happened? That uh, the new opportunities come. Sometimes uh, they have to migrate from, from their jurisdiction to, to to the different part of the world, like cross-border business they have to do, and they are not grabbing that opportunity. So ultimately what happened, that uh, their business uh, uh, narrowed down to that particular jurisdiction, and they are not able to uh, enhance, expand their business. So this is a thing which is there, and, and there are certain trends which are changing with the change in business. We have seen that uh, there was a time when business was purely a brick and mortar business, where uh, uh, we have got stereotype distribution channels either from the uh, wholesalers, from the manufacturers to wholesalers, then retailers, and then finally the consumers. But right now with the help of e-commerce, what had happened? That uh, people are buying the goods 
or selling the goods through through uh, online platforms. So this is a change which which the companies is going to adapt. If the companies are not going to adapt this, ultimately what will happen? They are not going to uh, exist themselves in the in the in the in the in the present market. So uh, if they want to exist in the present scenario, they have to adapt the change. Now the now the question is that. Uh, that what exactly the uh, when you are bringing change in the business ultimately what had happened uh, it's not everybody cup of tea to always go for the change if you are not uh, following a gradual process of of bringing a change what will happen that you will uh, you will be in a in a in a very turmoil stage so that need to be taken care that that how we are going to adapt the change and uh, this change could be a routine process it could be a gradual process and uh, we can adapt the change or uh, implement the change in a very systematic manner because when you are going for purely implementation of technology in one go or in one shot what is happening that that your whole legacy system your whole conventional way of doing the things is going to be it's become haphazard so if that thing become haphazard the the people who are working in the organizations they they feel unsafe they they are not secure about their jobs so how you so changing the mindset is something which is going to play a very important role so if you are not going to change the mindset of the individual or the or your counterpart or your employee ultimately things are going to be changed so uh, what we have to do we have to bring lot of things into consideration so this paradigm shift from website to application based business is going on we have we have seen that we there was a time when business was purely in a brick and mortar mode and we follow a stereotype approach then what had happened that we have moved from uh, the stereotype to website based business where with the help of websites or with the help of statistics you know uh, approaches we have done a business but right now the business is purely application based uh, what we can use the terminology in the present scenario is the app based so this app based is nothing but a real time approach so where where consumers are 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 buying the goods at as per their own pace and style so when they are free they can they can buy the things when they are in office they can uh, they can uh, do the shopping so uh, it's not like that you have earmarked certain time for for certain things so when you are in in your office uh, you can you can do the shopping when you are traveling you can you can you know buy some things so the habits are also going to be changed and uh, we have seen that that food habits the eating habits has also been changed it's not merely because of lockdown but because of other aspects the things had been changed so uh, so rather than moving to the brick and mortar restaurants people are you know uh, ordering the foods and the foods are delivered by by this uh, uh, food apps it could be either swiggy or zomato or food panda so uh, so what exactly the things are going to be uh, there that the habits are going to be changed people know that uh, when they are going for particular things uh, it's require a time it's require a cost so travel time is also there and uh, you see the the culture of the metropolitan cities or the big cities where traffic is uh, uh, creating a hue and cry situation so so how the things are going to be changed and so when you are talking about you know emerging opportunities in business when you talk about the contemporary trends the 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 guru mantra behind is that you have to change the mindset of the individual you have to change the mindset of the company you have to change the mindset of of of, of both the things like like the buyer seller or those or the person who are at the uh, end point or who, person who are at the finish point so impact of use of plastic money and e wallets are coming up in a big manner we have seen that uh, uh, there was a time when when people use usually go to bank and uh, and devote you know certain hours to update their accounts balance in the in the banks or to withdraw money they have to you know devote certain time say one hour or two hour right now with the help of net banking you are able to know what's your uh, how much transaction you have done in a day or so there's no need of you know going to the bank so uh, from there the culture had been changed and we have seen that the plastic money philosophy had come up rather than uh, taking a money in your in our wallets we have used the plastic money so but right now the model of plastic money is also uh, going to be eradicated and we have come up with a new philosophy called e wallets so either it could be you know and all the big companies are having their own wallets if you talk about amazon they have amazon pay if you talk about 
you know, uh, Paytm, they have their own wallets and some of the companies who are not having the wallets, like the travel industries, when we go for uh, uh, booking a taxi, we use the Paytm wallet. So, so these wallets are, are not confined to the particular company organizations, but helping us when, where or when we are able to uh, get a requirement of it. So what we are mean to say that this uh, this this uh, this philosophy is going to be changed. And right now, what happened? We have seen that uh, we are more uh, frequently using the WhatsApp. Uh, the WhatsApp is also planning to come up their uh, own wallets. So what is the use of this wallet? When you talk about the wallet, wallet is uh, is a we can we can see it's one step ahead to that where the certain amount is is on your on your particular app, and you can transfer the payment from that. So sometimes you can link your credit card and some of the wallets are giving some, some, some credit also. So you can have a credit of, of, the, of, uh, of uh, one la up to 1 lakh rupees. So once you use that, you can, uh, and your, if your credit ratings are good, they can give you more uh, credits. So this is the way by which when you don't have a money, but still you are having a wallets with you. So uh, it, is, it is helping you at every juncture, at every places. So examine the digital business collision with market place trends. We have seen that uh, digitization is, is right now uh, applying in all the, in all the aspects. And, uh, and the company who are not uh, talking about, who are not using this technology, ultimately what is going on, they either uh, uh, out from the picture or collaborate with these players. Recently, we have seen that uh, there were some good alliances in the, uh, in the future or in the present or, or in the current scenario, we have seen that, that uh, there is one player called Geo. Geo is basically more into uh, uh, mobiles, uh, uh, calling and data uh, retrieving things. Right now, they have collaborated with, uh, with Facebook and Facebook had invested somewhere around, uh, taken 10% stake of this company and invested somewhere around 53,000 crores. So uh, what is the intention behind that? We know that Facebook is a social networking site and uh, they have got a huge number of footfall. Uh, and uh, their, their users are, are gigantic in nature and uh, they know the taste about their users. So right now when you talk about the data, data is not merely a, pure, uh, a conventional data. The data philosophy is changing. The, if we talk in the present scenario in the 2020, Data is not uh, that you talk about name, email, or mobile. It is something which is over and above to that. It can, uh, if you talk about the data, data can, can give you information about that what is the taste of the consumers. When, when exactly the consumers go for online shopping, when exactly he goes for window dressing, when exactly he go for real-time buying. So this data is basically a real-time data where uh, and uh, uh, what kind of interest he or she have. Whether he is he want he is a frequent traveler or he travels you know merrily uh, or uh, so these kind of you know things which is there which which gives us a glimpse about that what exactly the data is and uh, this data is quite precious in nature and uh, when you know about the taste of the consumers you can make the product you can reframe the product you can make you can make the tailor made product which is exclusively designed for for the uh, for the individual so. That is something uh, that is going to play a very important role. So where uh, where we are uh, we are knowing what exactly the consumer is and when exactly the consumer is coming for buying, that is more more, Im more important. What we have observed that and uh, this data can also provide us information that this is the travel time of the individual and at this time he or she is uh, 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 in the office or. He, Basically, and this is the time where, when he or she is going for the window dressing and this is time when exactly he or she is going to buy a product. So, so when you know that and uh, it can also provide us at what time the individuals can go for the particular URL or the particular website. So during that time you can, you can put some buzz to them, you can provide them certain informations or, or you know some uh, some link can come up which can navigate them that uh, that why not you can try for this particular URL and buy your product from there. So taste of the consumers uh, is uh, is knowing by the company now and uh, only thing is that how to how to hit the consumers so that they can buy the product and they can buy the particular product. So sometimes what happened and uh, 
so this is the trend which is going on and we will see how the things are going to be changed. So prior to talking more about this, there are certain, I, I will talk on what exactly the business scenario is right now and we have seen that the business scenario is changing with the change in time and uh, a lot of trend is coming up. The, the first generation entrepreneurs who were uh, who 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 have never existed right now are are coming up with with certain startups and uh, and these startups are backed by by the uh, by the business tycoons like uh, uh, like some of the you know the initiators who have done a good job in uh, as a businessman in India like like uh, Narayan Murthy from Infosys or or we can say Ratan Ratan Tata from Tata Groups they have massively invest on these startups and the intention is that once and they once they once they pump the money to these companies they they take a stake in that company either 10 percent 20 percent we have seen that uh, flipkart is one of the company which was uh, started by two bansal friends who were working in iit and from there the company had been started and uh, uh, and lot of venture capitalists who had funded these companies so uh, if you see the company, uh, the venture capitalist, the Tiger Global, who had funded Amazon long back, maybe 10 years, 20 years back, this company had massively invest in Flipkart in the beginning stages. So from there, the company followed the same modus operandi, what the Amazon was doing that started, you know, uh, with a book business in India and gradually, you know, selling all, all things, like from uh, fast moving consumer goods to to white goods, to electronic goods, and and uh, other goods. So what we have observed that the scenario of business had been changed. And if you are not going to tie up with these companies, uh, take example of a of a Google. Google is now bringing up their. They have got their own wallets, and in the coming years, they are planning to do many things. The company, who have got a good number of footfalls, they are tying up with the stereotype players in the business and come up with the. Uh, different approaches. Uh, the the good example is that that how the Facebook had invested in Geo, and now what the Geo is going to do. We are we know that Indian retail industry is purely uh, uh, we, can, we can say it's somewhat organized, somewhat unorganized. But if you more talk a, more go into the depth of it, you will find out that uh, that still 40 to 60 percent is unorganized. Where Parchunwala is is nearby your uh, uh, home or nearby your mohalla and they are there and from there we buy a product. So what this Geo is going to do, Geo with the help of Facebook because everybody is now equipped with the social networking sites. So they are, uh, they are going to follow a blended approach. It could be rather you can, it's not a brick and mortar approach, but they will follow uh, a different way of doing the things. So this, these Parchunwala will have a stock of, of, of certain commodities and you have a order you can order through geo and and uh, they and the packet will be delivered by this parchun wala who are who are near your homes so the the uh, model is quite clear that uh, you will go for online buying and selling but the product will be delivered either from from these stores or you can go and pick up from their store so so the intention is very clear that they are going to use the existing existing stuffs what uh, what the what the indian you know, market have, and then they are going to do all those things. So, this is the thing which is going on, and a lot of other trend is going to be changed. We have we have seen that there was a time when shelf life of the company was 60 years, but right now it's narrowed down to 20 or 30 years, and and in the coming years you will find out it will be more uh, reduced to four years or five years. So, those who are not going to perform, they will be redundant, they will be out from the pictures, and. Uh, uh, Organizations, uh, US, uh, the uh, survival or credibility, not not rely or on the technology they are using, but how they are going to interact with the consumers and how they are going to take care about their employees. That is more important because uh, they are the backbone of the company. If you are not going to take care about your employees, ultimately what will happen? The whole thing becomes haphazard. Today's scenario is more like integrated kind of where you have to see the every every clients who are there if you are if one of the chain is bred ultimately what will happen you are not in a position to streamline the whole process so when you are not going to streamline there will be a cut off in the communications and when the cut off in the communications that particular uh, 
things is not going to work so a lot of things are going to be there and uh, we have we have seen that uh, in the in this lockdown period which is of 75 to 80 days that uh, that it industry market had come up they uh, it's a, it's the only industry where we have observed that that they have not uh, uh, have a downfall and uh, they and they are very perpetual in their works and things were going on and they follow the different approaches like work from home culture is coming up where we have seen that we have moved from uh, automation to office automation now wfh model is coming up and uh, all these uh, big companies either talk about facebook or google they have clearly mentioned that they are going to provide certain gadgets to their employees uh, and fund them and they purely believes in work from home model till one year or you know till this pandemic can go on so this is the change which is coming up and the, uh, the, they are checking the efficiency of the employee they filter down and then they find out who are uh, working well so a lot of things are going to be changed and you will see that in the coming years more change is going to come up and uh, it's not like that the startups are going to be changed or the new company is going to be changed the old companies also you know intermingle with the new companies and a uh, lot of change is also coming up so entrepreneurs like bill gates we have seen that they have they have changed so right now if you see their products either talk about the windows it's equipped with you know the the variety of things like it's equipped with the meetings also so there is no need to buy uh, a separate meeting and they have invested in a in a in large number of uh, stereotype companies and uh, on the other hand uh, we have seen that uh, elon musk who is a founder of uh, tesla that he is into the he is not into the uh, the chaufferless car business but uh, or the electric cars but now you know sending rockets to to the mars to the to the universe so that is the change which is coming up so what we have observed that all these uh, techno savvy companies are are seeing are 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 shaking hands with all the big players and they just want to know that uh, that what the trend is going on so that they can invest more amount into it jack ma is a founder of alibaba and we have seen that uh, he is right now taken a leave from the company and the intention is very clear he is no more uh, uh, but he is right now a mentor of the company so when you talk about the startup when you talk about you know the business you have to see that mentors roles are quite important narayan murthy who was the founder of uh, infosys when he had uh, formulated this company with seven individuals nandan linkeni was one of them in that at that time the the y2k issue was uh, was very burgeoning in nature in us and 97 98 this company had done a huge business so uh, if you go into the backdrop you will find out that uh, narayan murthy uh, when when they have started this business uh, infosys and they were doing this business they know that this y2k issue is going to be collapse at a certain time because y2k issue was nothing but a year 2000 problem so when we have uh, when we are going to put the dates it is uh, dd mm and four ys are there so rather than putting the four ys in the beginning stages the all these uh, uh, codings in the software was uh, was confined to the two ys so they have uh, they have done everything they have revamped the whole process and make and and reduce this challenge of uh, y2k issues but narayan murthy was very uh, very clear in his mind that once this y2k issue will over this company would be on the death beds because once the issue over there is no job for it so they from the day one they have they have thought of and the and those people who were working in y2k issue they were all the uh, big man at that time and uh, and the company revenue was like that that 80% business was coming from y2k prob- y2k issue related issues and 20% was coming from from other approaches so they have uh, this guy had uh, the founder of uh, uh, infosys had done a, a very intelligent thing the uh, he had taken lot of uh, those people who were working in the y2k issues they were the experts they were the wizards so he had taken all of them and uh, and retain only 10% into it so these 10% uh, with the with that 10% he had put another you know uh, uh, 4000 5000 people uh, young chap forces so now what happened that y2k issue was handled by these young uh, 4000 5000 people and remaining 90% which he had taken he had uh, uh, engaged them in a in a new project 
and uh, that new project was nothing but development of the new softwares and uh, bringing some new products like Finical. You know, Finical is a is a very good product which is used for the banking industries, and they are tied up with all the all the all the big companies and uh, like SAP, they become the aggregators of of all these companies and uh, launch their own ERP softwares. So when you talk about the ERP softwares, ERP softwares are the integrated softwares. So the purpose was very clear that uh, they make the softwares and uh, and they sell it to the uh, companies not confined to india but other part of the world and right now you see their business uh, crossed uh, and uh, multiply and gradually they have done a, uh, they have generated a huge amount so this is a model this is the procedure which the companies are following and uh, the chain which is there it's not like that the company is doing well but uh, uh, you have a shelf life that up to up to certain time this company will will do well because new players are are doing lot of r and d lot of research and development and no doubt they will come up with a with a very thought provoking approaches so if you are not going to change yourself you will be out so jeb bezos what we have observed that is one of the founders of uh, amazon and he also had come up with a very conf very different approaches and what he had observed that that amazon business was not confined to e-commerce and uh, and if we uh, just concentrate on this e-commerce business we will be away from the picture so what he had done he had developed their own uh, you know uh, servers related things so aws is one of the product which is owned by uh, jeff bezos and uh, aws is nothing but amazon web services so they are into the cloud computing they are into you know the uh, the the technology selling things so it's not like that e-commerce is a company which is confined to uh, amazon is a company which is confined to e-commerce only amazon uh, jeb bezos is into many business and prime video is one of the ingredients of that what we have seen that uh, we uh, surprise almost a decade back that how without set up box we can able to see the movies but right now the philosophy had been changed the the web series philosophy had come up either it could be delivered by youtube or by netflix or by prime video so what we have seen that this is uh, one of the one of the different verticals which this company have created and jeb bezos is something uh, jeb bezos is one who had who try to believe in uh, in do, in doing something new and uh, so uh, we have seen that how the things are going to be changed in coming years and more things are going to be come uh, it's just because that you are giving flexibility to your uh, employees and uh, provide them a leverage so that they can think out of box they try to create you know new things which which uh, by a large would be benefited by a company so there are certain facts and figures which is which is no doubt is going to play a very important role and uh, if we see that uh, 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 that there are six companies who are basically you know doing a good job in uh, in us in india or in china so uh, their facts and figures are are very important like uh, we have seen we have talked about amazon we have talked about google and facebook and in india also flipkart is a company which was doing well by by two indians and then later on they they engaged the good venture capitalists and finally what had happened that walmart had owned this company so so this is the change which is coming up and uh, and there are certain facts and figures because uh, if you are if you are not going for the facts and figures you are not going to find out what how the things are going to be change so this is basically uh, i was talking i was i try to talk about the startups because uh, because when you talk we are, when you are not going to talk about the startups because today's scenario is basically a scenario of of the first generation entrepreneurs it's not there was a time when business was just uh, you know uh, was not everybody cup of tea and uh, those who having uh, uh, the business uh, the the old uh, dynasty businesses was was going to play a very important role and uh, we has we have seen that uh, when this startup philosophy had been started then the lot of things had come up the the technocrats who were studying in the flagship institutions like in india in iits or in iims uh, uh, or in us uh, when you talk about mit when you talk about harvard wharton so where th we have observed that these startups had been created by by the by the first generation entrepreneurs they were the students they they do lot of research and when they when they study lot of literature they they come to certain gaps and from that gaps they they come to know that uh, this these are the niche areas where business need to be focused and created so they create the business now the biggest challenge was was them was the 
who is going to fund because when you talk about the setting up a business you require a cost so they make a dpr they make a detailed project report then they work on it they make a prototype of it then the then they interact with the venture capitalists so there are some venture capitalists as i have talked about there were some venture capitalists who have funded amazon because jeb bezos was also not an big entrepreneur but uh, the vision was very clear if you if you go into the backdrop of amazon the st it starts with a and n to z so it means that anything which starts from a to z is is sold by amazon so that is the thing which is there so venture capitalists role is quite pivotal in nature and they uh, they uh, Uh, they are the private equity investors and they provide capitals and finally what happen when they when they give capital they they see the vision and then uh, take the stake in the company it's not like that every time they are in the win win stage what we have observed that uh, sometimes what happen but they are very stringent in nature they do lot of homework while investing in the company but again uh, the 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 grass is not always green at other side we have we have seen that that the business some uh, uh, there were some investors who have invested in this business are not get a happy returns not 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 get a good returns because the reason behind is that that after certain time certain issue comes up their planning fails or the scenario is not permitting them to survive uh, so that is the reason sometimes they had a loss and uh, uh, these venture capitalists sometimes uh, have certain losses also but and uh, this had happened with the startups also because when startup started we uh, everything is quite good in nature but finally what happened after certain time out of that only you know 10% or 5% get the success and 95% fails the reason is very clear that uh, that those who are not uh, you know serious about the things they can out and and there are certain unfavorable circumstances which come up and uh, sometimes what happen the existing players make themselves more uh, 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 compatible and finally they compete with these players and make this player out from the market so this is the thing which is there for that what is going on the business incubators had been established and these incubators are are privately and publicly created somewhere you know it's a paid uh, where uh, when you work in the incubators you get lot of facilities and uh, you get lot of privileges on and these incubators are 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 basically navigating these startups or their founders to work more in a more uh, more uh, uh, systematic manner so so this is the thing which is which is there and uh, and uh, these incubators are now established in in the institutions also like uh, when uh, when uh, the students are pursuing their btech first year or pursuing their masters uh, at that time it's part of their projects so they can work on their projects and they can parallelly you know do other things uh, like that so it's it's like they are part of the dissertation sometimes rather than involving in the semesters they fully involved in the in the with this incubator cell so these incubator cells are uh, are providing them business advice resources contacts and capital also so sometimes what we have observed that there were some institutions who have taken stake in the in these startups also so uh, the good startups had been started by um, by the young founders and uh, we have seen that the institutions like mit and harvard they have invested into it so this is the thing which is going on so and moral of the story is that the faith is going to matter when you have a holistic approach when you have a teamwork approach ultimately the things are going to be there on the other hand the crowd funding philosophy and the practice had been also created where uh, where rather than confined to uh, to take uh, capital from one venture capitalist you have uh, taken money from the masses what the reliance industries have done during the tenure of dhirubhai ambani uh, maybe 2 3 decades back so this is the thing which is going on so when you more talk about when you more talk about the smart business so smart business is basically something which which is uh, which change with the change of time as i have talked about it is equipped with the machine learning it is equipped with the artificial intelligence approach and digital native approach is there so what we have observed that algorithm is going to play a very important role and uh, we have seen that the science and mathematics and other approaches are going to be uh, quite uh, 
fruitful and this digital native companies have an advantage of being born online and data ready so what the companies are doing right now like uh, i have uh, that uh, the example which i have quoted that facebook is a social networking site and uh, they are uh, you know gradually going up but no but they know that the social networking can't go alone because when uh, when the individual who are with the social networking uh, portals for for 2 3 hours he want many things into it so they are giving baskets of you know avenues into it so it will be a shopping there there will be a shopping cart there will be a information archives there will be uh, you know certain learning tools so electronic learning is also going on shopping is also going on and uh, you are interacting with your peers so this digital native companies have the advantage of born online and they are the one who are transforming this smart business so we have seen that amazon is a company which is more into e-commerce started with the e-commerce right now in cloud computing in 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 video streaming in web making web series and and right now they are if you uh, study more about these companies the, their case studies you will find out that these companies are buying the brick and mortar stores the uh, amazon is 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 buying uh, walmart have a big stake in the big bazaar or you know the these brick and mortar stores are now uh, uh, owned by by these technology enabled companies because they know that because because they know that their warehouse is, is not you know designed for uh, for just you know providing so this is the philosophy which is changing and on the other hand lot of other business is coming up even in e governance even you know the social causes we have seen that this change is coming up and technology is also playing a very important role in india we talk about mid day meal in india we talk about other things we we see that uh, anganwadi and we have seen that community kitchen philosophy is coming up so this community kitchen is 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 nothing but you know a, a, a mega kitchen has been created at one place which is pure hygienic and uh, and uh, certain parameters which are going to be uh, taken care and from there they deliver the product so uh, what i mean to say that uh, when you talk about you know uh, the dynamic marketplace where customers are uh, demanding more uh, uh, and when you talk about the what is the power of the consumer the power of the consumer is you know digital integration i think brick is uh, okay uh, 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 okay i am i am just you know taking a pause for uh, for another 5 minutes uh, uh, due to technological issue and we will again come back uh, with that thank you अच्छा